Hello guys, welcome to Random Mode Norm. In today's video, I'm back at this permission again. Same permission I was doing in the last video. It's actually consisting of two permissions. There's this one here around right now, and the one across the fence, which is now a yard. Before that, it used to be a potato garden, which was behind apparently the oldest house in the harbor. So, yeah, and when I detected it in the last video, I found a few pretty sweet things. Anyway, I'm hoping to find some more stuff today. Hopefully some more silver, maybe some older coppers. Who knows? Anyway, wait for ado. I'm gonna detect this guard and maybe get permission again to detect that guard nearby. Anyway, detecting time. Alright guys, I uh, gotta zoom over next to this fence and uh, that's what it is. Pretty sure that's trash. Yeah. Whatever this is, not pretty old. Oh well. Alright, getting a pretty decent signal right here. It's in the 60s. Well, it actually turned out to be a uh, chunk of lead. <laughs> oh well. Well guys, looks like I found my first coin of the day. All right, you guys see it? We'll say it's gonna be oldie. Ah, this be a British penny. So I've lost as a found one of these. Check that out. Only the year, I believe it's uh, King George V. And there's a lot of King George V uh, coins in this, uh, well, this, these two properties here. So yeah, check it out guys. Don't know the year on it yet. Um, okay, got upside down, whoops, yeah, I'll get back to you guys on the date for this coin. And the date appears to be 1912. Alright guys, I got a pretty decent signal in this plug here. Bring it up in the 60s. Let's go break it apart and see what we can get. We got her. And look at that. Wow. Looks like we got ourselves a large scent. Canadian large scent, actually. And is it King George the Fifth or is it the King Ed? Uh, looks like it's another King George the Fifth coin. That's, uh, Let's see, number four. Look at that. So in my last video I found two King George the fifth coins as well. Check it out guys. Canadian Laird Scent. How awesome is that? Nice. And the date is 1918 guys. Cool. Well, you see that imprint? We'll say I got myself another coin. There it is. Um, can we tell what it is at this point? Um, it's Canadian. I think it is Canadian. Yeah, it's a Canadian penny. Don't know date yet. Might not be that old. We cleaned up and get the date on her, I guess. Date appears to be 1956. So guys, I haven't even touched that property across the fence there yet today. Because I, I'm keeping on finding coins in this uh, property here. So, and here's the coin. Is it silver, guys? Oh, might not be. It's Canadian uh, 25. Ah, it's 1973 with the uh, 1973 Mountie uh, 25 cent. It's not silver, unfortunately. Dang. Oh well, it's a it's a coin. The shame is not silver. Wow, today is a great day. All right, guys, I'm gonna try uh, this uh, yard. 
there now on the other side of the fence for a few minutes. So you can find any more coins here like you did last time. Used to be old potato garden. All right. All right, I got a uh, pretty decent target, and uh, this is what it appears to be. Um, looks to be a pocket watch part or something, I'm not sure. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what this is, guys. Hmm. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. All right, I got a uh, pretty good signal in this plug here. This is ringing up in the 80s and 90s, so let's go uh, with a little shake. And... Okay, looks like it's further embedded into the plug there, so jump cut. All right, fill it. It's in the hole, and this is what it is. A Canadian penny? Rats? Can we tell? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yep. Date. I think it's probably from the 50s. Not sure yet. So date for that penny is uh, 1980. Uh, oh well. Uh, first bottle cap of the day. Suncrest pineapple. It's on top of my plug. Which I'm punching into the ground. Almost as good as new. Well, got another penny in the plug. Let's see. Here's been our modern one. 1981 or 1987 by the looks of it. Well guys, there was actually another coin in this plug. You see it? I almost missed it. What is it, I wonder? Uh Okay, it seems to be another Canadian coin, um, I, I think. Uh, yep, it's Canadian, it's another 25 cent. Don't know if it's silver yet. Let me tell. Uh, this uh, 25 cent is uh, date 1980. So definitely not silver. Well, this uh, fan, this thing down the hole there, came up as in the 60s on Simplex. And a little wind-up key, perhaps, to something. It's pretty cool. Don't know how old it is, might be fairly old. I mean, this, uh, this garden used to be a whole potato garden, so, yeah. Let's make sure old and new stuff. Anyway, nice little relic. <sighs> Nor dinky. Well, well, well. Well, guys, I'm, I'm about to call it a day. So I'm going to head back home, clean up the finds, and show you guys in the wrap up. All right. Wow, what a day. Pretty good hunt. All right guys, I am back home now. So here are the finds. Well, the good finds. All right, here they are, wow. Found a lot of coins this time. Here's that uh, turn knob thing. I know my cleaning efforts weren't exactly perfect, but eh, do my clog the drain. All the dirt. Should use the hose in hindsight, but oh well. So here's this uh, 1912 British penny that I found today. Best coin up today. Here's King George V. This coin's actually in really good shape. Wow. And then we have the 1918 Canadian Laird set. It's also in really good shape. There's King George V again with his crown. 
That is pretty sweet. Let me have this thing. I have no idea what this is. I was supposed to say a lid or something. That was a pack of watch pad, but I guess not. A little pin going through it. Yeah, not too sure what this thing is, guys. And then we have the quarters, 1973, 1980. Some random to name pennies, they're not all that special. From the 70s and 80s. 1980. Uh, 1983, um, 1981, and there's a lot of 80s pennies here, Canadian, 80s pennies, and there's 19, another 1981, this here is 1956, and this one here is, 1988 and there's this uh like a some sort of valve stem some sort i don't know it's still really dirty i apologize for not cleaning it uh better than that it's kind of hard to clean yeah and then we had this uh dinky that definitely seen better days and underneath, what does it say? Yet Ming Blazer, made in Hong Kong, number 1064. Yikes, I definitely seen better days. So, yeah, guys, all now, pretty good hunt. Awesome. Well, guys, that's it for this Metal Titan video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon up above so you won't miss another random on your video. And leave a comment if you so wish. Also check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. So so long. Have a great day and be safe, guys. See y'all later. Peace out.